Bonnie Book Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the series Ruby Redfort written by Lauren Child. The author of these books also wrote the Charlie and Lola books and she lives in America. There are six books to this series. Ruby Redfort is a spy series centered around a 13 year old girl who gets asked by a spy agency to be their code cracker. Throughout this series Ruby Redfort often ends up in situations she wouldn't have been in if she'd listened to what people told her to do instead of going off and doing whatever she wanted. Although she is hired by a spy agency to be their main code cracker, she often ends up thinking she can do a spy's job better than anyone else can, even trained agents, which means she gets herself into situations where she can get really badly hurt or endanger everyone she works for and everyone she cares about. Because of this, she always is in trouble with the head of the spy agency, LB, and often gets in trouble with her family as well because her attitude extends outside of the spy agency to her family home. Although Ruby Redfort is the main character and she's headstrong, which is really cool, my favourite character happens to be her best friend, Clancy Crew. He's always the calm and level-headed one in any situation Ruby might find herself in and always knows how to calm her down when she's getting worked up. He's also really funny and intelligent and super supportive of Ruby. He also happens to be incredibly sarcastic, which just makes him even funnier to be around. Some of the things that I did dislike about the Ruby Redfort series is that the main character Ruby doesn't really develop from where she was at the start of the book to the end. Her character stays the same snarky self she was at the start of the book in this final book as well which kind of disappointed me because I was looking forward to seeing a bit more of a mellowed out Ruby Redfort. Although I read this book series when I was a bit younger than 11, I would recommend it to 11 plus just because at the end of the books it does get slightly violent and towards the end of the series as well it gets more intense. So just because of that I would recommend that younger readers watch out and they're careful that they're going to be okay with it and maybe if you're younger than 10 I would suggest you let a parent check over it and just make sure that you're completely fine with reading it. But it's never too intense, it just can get a bit scarier towards the end of the book, um, which isn't super great. But other than that, it's an amazing book series and I definitely recommend it to anyone aged 11 and up. The thing I liked about this book was that it was a fast paced, humorous, fun and entertaining read. It had great morals in it and amazing themes of friendship. I'm giving this book series a 9.5 out of 10 because it's super interesting, super fun and super entertaining. The only thing I wish it had a little bit more of was a different character arc for the main character and also some more fleshed out and developed side characters. But other than that, it was seriously an amazing read and I hope that you guys go and pick it up and read it too because I really hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, get geeky and start reading. I'll see you guys next time.